हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरीवन दिस इज मोहम्मद इजमाम फ्रॉम साई मेदा इसेट कोचिंग सेंटर कोटी हैदराबाद साई मेदा कोटी हैदराबाद इज प्रोवाइडिंग अ गोल्डन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू ऑल द इसेट 2024 एंड एज़ वेल एज़ इसेट 2025 स्टूडेंट्स एवरीथे फाइनल ईयर लो उन्नारो एवरीथे थर्ड सेमेस्टर ले इपुड़ चाहतुनारो साई मेदा कोटी हैदराबाद इज प्रोवाइडिंग द ऑनलाइन कोचिंग एंड एज़ वेल एज़ ऑफलाइन कोचिंग फॉर इट ranks gurinchi cheppalante saimeda kodi hyderabad lo every single time every single year we have proven that maximum ranks in all the branches ec triple e mechanical civil and computer science lo top 5 branches lo state first rank state first rank tho paatu maximum ranks in top 10 and top 50 lo kuda maximum ranks are there in this video lecture series in the youtube we are going to be updating every single day for all the branches subject wise and as well as topic wise previous eset examination questions will be explained by expert faculties my dear students gurtu vetkondi only previous year competitive examination questions korake separate course untadi pay cheyals untadi baita market lo kani sai meda koti hyderabad lo free of cost we are providing that series guys in this very youtube channel so those who have not subscribed the channel subscribe now and press the bell icon to be notified for the further more updates every day subject wise topic wise previous eset examination questions with which you can understand stand the level of teaching the expertise which is there in the sai meda koti hyderabad so my dear students what are you waiting for start watching all the video series in this youtube channel at the end of the video i'll be coming back to give you a surprise for all the eset 2024 and eset 2025 aspirants so share this video as much as possible for all the final year students and third semester students now let's start the video So, if you see the next question, following is used to measure the short offset. So, generally, if of all these four options, the most uh, approximate, uh, the most accurate instrument that you are going to use here is invert tape because it is made up of the alloys of steel and nickel. So, you will be choosing an invert tape as the correct answer. Okay. Moving further, which of the following is obstacle to chaining but not ranging? So, for chaining, obstacle to chaining but not ranging again, a water body will be coming into picture. So, river will be the answer. Okay, because in river we can't chain. The length of a line measured of 20 meters chain was found to be 400 uh, 400 uh, inches. 20 inches chain. Fine. It was observed that the chain is 10 centimeters too long. The true length of the chain is dash. So again, so true into true is equals to false into false kind of thing, right? So the true length of the chain is 20 inches into the true distance. I'm supposed to find out is uh, uh, I'm leaving as it is because he is asking us to find out the true length, right? So what is the false length here? False length that was measured here is four hundred inches. Four hundred inches into what is a false? Uh, right. Uh, so what is the false length of the chain? So that's what we are supposed to find. That that is ten centimeters too long. So this is twenty inches. So if you observe, so he has given in terms of inches here. So he has given in terms of inches here. So I will be uh, solving this more clearly. So if you use this relation, true into true is equals to false into false. Okay, so one true is for the chain where the chain is having 20 inches of length. Okay, so this is 20 inches. Okay, into true distance that we have to that he has measured here is a. Uh, that's what we are supposed to find out is equals. To, what is the false length of the chain here? So false length of the chain is here 20 inches minus 10 centimeters. It is uh, too long, right? So plus uh, 10 centimeters. Okay, times of uh, the true length, uh, the true distance we have measured here is a uh, 400 inches. 400 inches. Okay. Fine. So from here, I have to find out the true distance here. So true distance is equals to 20 inches plus 10 centimeters. Okay. Times of 400 inches upon this 20 inches. 20 inches. So 20 goes uh, two times here. 20 to 40. So 20, uh, 200 times. 20 20 is a 2 to 4. 400. Yeah. Yeah. So fine. So here the point is here. I need to Convert this so as uh, I'll be easily able to uh, form an answer here. So 2020 is 400, 400 inches plus 10 centimeters, which will be obviously, which will be obviously above 400. So above 400, the only option that is above 400 is uh, 4 nm. The only answer that is able to uh, above 400 is 4 nm. Because you can see here the chain is too long, so I have added this error here that is 20 inches plus 10 cm. Here also I have written the same thing here 20 inches plus 10 cm into 400 inches. That is the distance that I have measured upon 20 inches. So it was a chain that I have used 400 inches, right? Fine. So 20 inches upon 400. So this zero zero goes and cancel. This is 20 inches. So 20 times of 20, this is 400 plus something. So 400 above. So the answer only that is above 400 is 4 nanometers. So the clear answer will be 4 nanometers. Very simple, right? Okay. So moving further. 
So if you see this 26th question here, a 30 meter long tape is held between the supports under a tension of 120 Newtons. If the tape weighs 10 Newtons, find out the horizontal distance between the two supports. This is nothing but correction for sag if you take this uh, tape correction. So, so where the formula is W square L upon 24 P square. 24 P square, where W is nothing but the weight here. So the weight here is uh, 10 square into what is the length that you have taken? So uh, the length is here 30 meters tape upon 24 times of what is the uh, force that you have applied? Weight, right? So if the tape is 10 Newtons, okay, under the tension, so this is 120 Newtons, okay. So if you solve this, this is 100 times of 30 upon 24 times of 120 square. This is P square, right? So 120 square. So if you solve this, the answer comes out to be. So the answer comes out to be here 100 times of 30 upon 24 times of 120 square. The answer comes out to be like correction. This is 0 0.008680, right? So this is correction for sag. So if we apply the correction for this 30 meters, so after applying the correction, after applying the correction for the tape or op after applying correction, okay. To 30 meters of tape, this, this distance, 30 meters long tape, 30 meters long tape, then the answer will be 30 minus as the correction is always negative because see sag correction, the sag correction will be always negative, okay. So 30 minus 0 0.008680, the answer comes out to be here, 30 minus 0 0.008, this is a 29.0. Double nine one meters will be the answer for this question. Okay, the only simple point is here the correction for the slope is or correction for the sag is always negative. So just I am subtracting this answer for this 30 meters length. So after applying the correction, the correct value will be to 29.991 meters, right? Okay, moving further. The basic principle of surveying is to work from whole to part. Fine, we do know that. The example of obstacle to ranging but not uh, chaining. So where this is a uh, uh, not arranging the example of obstacle to ranging here yeah. ranging but not chaining so where it will be difficult here that means where we will we won't be able to range here whenever an hill type of structure comes here we won't be able to see the other end so the hill will be the correct answer because pond here chaining is not possible river chaining is not possible martial and chaining is possible ranging is also possible but a hill structure we won't be able to range okay moving further systematic errors in surveying uh, systematic errors in surveying or they are always cumulative they are always cumulative because systematic errors are nothing but the instrumental errors. Okay. So, they, uh, they, they will be cumulative either in terms of positive or either in terms of negative. So, we can't call always positive or we can't call always negative or this can't be compensated. They can be only cumulative. They will be moving only in a particular direction. Moving here, which of the following is the largest scale? So, here a few uh, scales were given here. This is 1 centimeter upon 50 meters. If you convert this. 1 centimeter upon 50 meters, this 50 meters, I am multiplying with, I am converting this into centimeters, centimeter, centimeter goes and cancel, here the value will be 1 upon 5000, the very first value, the second is 1 upon 42000, the third value that is 1 centimeter upon 500 meters, 1 centimeter upon 500 meters, right, so nothing but again 1 centimeter upon 500 meters, so 500 times of 100 centimeters, just conversion, so here the value comes out to be 1 by 5 double zero double zero right 500 right sorry 5000 he said 5000 1 centimeter upon 5000 meters so one more zero will be there so one more zero will be there okay and the last value is here one more value that is 1 centimeter upon 5 kilometers 1 centimeter upon 5 kilometers so this can be easily converted again 1 centimeter upon converted kilometer to meters first so 5 into 1000 so that this will be converted to meters and again to centimeters so centimeter centimeter goes and cancel here the value will be 1 by 5 times of 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 so here also 1 2 3 4 5 now the question is uh, what about the larger scale so larger scale will be having a smaller denominator a larger scale will be having a smaller denominator denominator so here if you see this is a larger denominator so this is not the correct answer larger denominator no not the correct answer larger denominator no correct not the correct answer so the smaller denominator is 1 upon 5000 so 1 upon 5000 is nothing but 1 centimeter is equals to 50 meters very simple right very simple moving further a 30 meter chain was found to be 20 centimeters too long after the chain after chaining 1500 meters distance so very simple again here true into true is equals to false into false Okay, one true length is for the 30 meters chain and we are supposed to find out the true distance where the false length of the chain is uh, 30 meters, right? So, yeah. 
falls into the chain is 30 minus 20 centimeter that is 0 0.2 meters okay times of 1500 meters if you solve this you are going to get an answer true distance is equals to 30 minus 0 0.2 this is 29.8 times of 1500 by 30 so this is 0 this is 3 5 15 so 50 times 15 so this is by 10 so 0 0 goes and cancel so 298 times of 5 will be giving us the answer 8 5 is 40 so if you solve this that will be telling you by calc so 298 times of 5 the answer comes to 1490 this is 1490 meters so 1490 meters okay very simple right moving further the principle of survey is to work from hole to part already we have seen multiple times the type of surveying where the curvature of the earth has to be accounted here that is nothing but geodetic surveying because in plane surveying no curvature is considered hydrographic surveying it is regarding a water body no aerial surveys to estimate the loss or uh, when any kind of disaster happens so this is also not the correct answer so not plane not hydrographic the correct answer is geodetic a 30 meter uh, metric chain is found to be 0 0.1 meter too short again the very simple question so again true into true is equals to false into false one true is for your 30 meters chain and we are supposed to find out the true distance where the false of the chain is 30 it is too short so minus 0 0.1 into the distance that I have measured here is 300 so true distance is equals to this is 29.9 times of 300 upon 30 so 30 tens right so 30 tens 0 0 3 this is 30 hundred times sorry it's not 100 times it's 30 times only 3 tens 100 yeah fine so this is again by 10 if this 10 10 goes on cancel this is 299 so answer is 299 meters 299 meters in chain surveying offsets or the lateral measurements made with respect to the main survey lines only perpendicular directly from the chain lines again uh, taken to avoid unnecessary walking in between no it's not the correct answer measurements which are not made at the right angles to the chain no per, uh, offsets can be perpendicular so we can't tell like uh, are not uh, made at right angles so the lateral measurements made with respect to the main survey lines only perpendiculars erected from the chain lines so chain lines can be of many lines but chain lines are not the correct suitable answer with respect to main survey lines we will be taking the lateral measurements and these lateral measurements are nothing but offsets these lateral measurements are nothing but the offsets so option one will be the correct answer here the true length of a line is known to be 200 meters when the uh, measure with 20 meter shape the length is uh, 200.80 the correct length of 20 meter shape so again here also we can take true into true is equal to false into false so what is the true length of the tape expected to be so measure with the 20 meter shape the correct length of 20 meter shape so yeah so uh, the next value the true in uh, so the true length of a line was known to be 200 meters when this was measured with the 20 meter shape the length is 200.80 fine the correct length of 20 meters tape is there. so the designated type of the tape uh, designated length of the tape is 20 meters so the true distance that I have measured is 200 again the false length is measured here is 200.80 so what is the false length of the tape that, have, that we have to find out so false length of the tape is equal to 20 times of 200 upon 200.80 200.80 okay if you solve this you are going to get that answer this is uh, simply this is a uh, 4000 upon 200.80 if you solve this 4000 upon 200 the answer came out to be 19.92 so the answer came out to be 19.92 so 19.90 will be the correct answer simple moving further permissible error in chaining only on a hilly ground is 1 in 250 direct object equation permissible error geodetic serving is different from the plane serving uh, because geodetic serving the curvature of the earth is considered it is not the large difference of elevation no it is not covering is very large no undulations of the topography no the only point is here because geodetic serving and plane serving will be classified only basing upon the curvature of the surface so the correct answer here is uh, geodetic serving is different from the plane serving basing upon the only factor is the curvature of the earth so 38th first answer first answer will be correct answer okay so these are all different PYQs that are asked here okay in this uh, ESET level exam okay from uh, uh, the very if you observe we have taken from we have taken the questions from till 
he said 2012 including AP and uh, TS okay so all the questions were covered here from 2012 to 2023 right okay 2023 up to uh, all the years we uh, questions were solved here okay so make sure that uh, uh, you are going to solve all the questions correctly thank you all the best so my dear students for ESET 2024 and ESET 2025, Sai Medha Koti Hyderabad is providing maximum concessions in this very week. Offline students gawachu, online students gawachu, online plus offline students gawachu, morning batches, evening batches, day batches, full day batches, online courses with materials. Gurinchi, Sai Medha Koti Hyderabad in this very week guys, in this very week only, we are providing the maximum concessions. Our concessions are the same, concessions are the same, batches are the same, with materials, without material, online coaching, total me ke doubt unna sare. A concessions maximum me unna hai. Ande mana ko mobile numbers ekada scrolling lo already vidam jargindi. So scrolling out unna mobile numbers ki contact cheindi and join in the Sai Medha Koti Hyderabad as soon as possible. Don't miss this opportunity of getting the maximum concessions, guys. Thank you very much. In this video series, every single day we are going to be updating subject wise, topic wise, previous Easter examination questions. I wish you all the best. This is Muhammad Inzamam. Signing off.